I knew they were trying to make this film for a long, long time. And I'd been to Nepal and Everest, and when this role came around, this story came around, you know, I was very happy to be part of it. I'm playing Beck Weathers in a movie called Everest, which is about the 1996 expedition where 11 people died. Jason Clark and I play Rob Hall in the film Everest. Rob was one of the pioneers of private mountaineering in Everest. Yeah, my name is Jake Gyllenhaal. I play Scott Fisher. Scott sadly died um, on that expedition. You know, he summited with all of his, his team. It's pretty amazing. As we know, our film is set around the, the 96 climbing season and, 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 and what happened, the story of it was one, was one of those moments of, you know, that broke all around the world. I remember, you know, hearing on the radio and going outside and just, you know, it was unfolding right now that, that a man was on top of the tallest mountain in the world saying goodbye to his wife and, you know, she was carrying his unborn child. It was one of those things I just walked outside and thought about. They have to come to terms with their humanness and whatever demons that they're fighting go back to what does matter, what does actually that very emotion or the very thought that can reheat your entire body that's completely frozen in order to enable you to move to save your life is family. If you walk through the world with a sense of worry that you might at every corner, then you're not really fully living, not in a morbid sort of way, because you don't really ever have a choice in when you die. When it's your time is your time. Obviously it's gonna be on your mind if you're a human being. But it's really important to just keep going where you love to go and, and like listening to that instinct. Some might call that risk and others might call that living. They've done studies of what the brain can do when it has almost died based on emotion. And I think that's, you know, there's something untouchable about that and very special about that. The world's just beautiful. It makes you feel bigger than you can ever be. You know, the, the shooting of it was one of the best experiences of my life. You're dealing with the extraordinary. That's, that's the case with anything. It's like, why do these movies, some of these movies do so well? It's like, because you put yourself in the extraordinary shoes. Or, you know, but you have a screen to kind of do, it's, you're safe in it. And nobody's really willing to go up to Everest for a lot of good reasons. One of the wonderful things about playing a character or a person who has lived and, and existed is that you get to really learn from the life that they lived. You're trying to sort of at least take a piece of somebody or their essence or, and uh, bring it into, you know, a film. It's really nice to, to be taught by someone else's personality. Climbing rocks and all that, that's a different thing. It's much, much, much safer. Mountaineering is one of the most unsafe things that you can do. And I'm going over a small bridge connected by six wires, and it's not only doing this, but it's doing this, and it's doing this, and it's a thousand feet down, and I'm hooked on by one lanyard. I'm starting to understand <laughs> the fear, not the exhilaration, but the massive fear that one deals with and then the accomplishment of getting through that fear and the elation one feels. And that's great. I've had no interest in doing that again. I'm glad that I did it. But, you know, this is giving the public a little bit of that with a safety line.